couple of weeks ago on the program, we introduced you to the next generation of the famous Skyline, the stunning V35. Great new lines and plenty of style, and most importantly, the change in power plant to the normally aspirated V6 3.5 litre. For the purist, a shock to the system, gone is the 2.6 litre inline six with all that turbocharged grunt, and in many eyes, possibly the end of the cult status of this iconic of marks. This is of course its predecessor, the awesome R34 GTR. Some would say the Skyline GTR series put the Nissan brand on the map as far as being hailed as a performance car manufacturer. Earlier R32 models tore up their fair share of race records on many of the world's racetracks, but sadly for us Aussie enthusiasts, not a vehicle that made it to our roads in commercial numbers. In recent times that of course has all changed, with these incredible bits of gear complied and available in dealerships via the specialist and enthusiast vehicle scheme. So cue our opportunity to get a close up look at what all the fuss is about, naturally from behind the wheel and in what we call in the business a spirited road test. What stood out to me the most from the initial drive was the sheer size of the R34. It's certainly no pocket rocket, the substantial dimensions are matched by its 1500 kg plus waistline. Nissan have tried very hard to battle the obesity by fitting aluminium bonnets and front guards to the GDR. That said, its overall size contributes considerably to the extremely smooth and comfortable ride. A great driving position and cool race style seats put you very much in control even during the wildest manoeuvres. in these types of extreme conditions that the Skyline comes into its own. The very successful ETESA four-wheel drive control system that Nissan have utilised for many years now transforms what is essentially a rear-wheel drive wild slider to a very controlled unit. Generating information from wheel speed, g-force, throttle and steering angle sensors, the system applies drive to the front wheels assisting with sideways control as well as all-wheel traction in aggressive launch scenarios. The GTR is also fitted with high cast rear wheel steering, piggybacking the information sent to ETESA, minimal rear wheel steering is enforced to again enhance control during oversteer and high speed lane changing type manoeuvres. As I mentioned earlier, under the bonnet the familiar RB series 2.6 litre twin turboed intercooled 6. The mandatory Japanese spec 206 kilowatts and 392 newton metres of torque. I've got to say that the horsepower is not what you'd expect from its reputation, however in saying so while banging it up through the gears it feels quite tame until you check out the very rapidly climbing K's per hour dial. Skyline fans will be very aware that cranking these things up to 400 plus horsepower is as simple as a few under bonnet tweaks but even in standard 0.9 trim, an exhilarating ride is certainly possible. You can quite comfortably add more GGs. The R34 is well braked with a substantial disc all round and Brembo brake package. The 18 inch wheel and tyre setup complementing the independent multi-link front and rear suspension kit. Well if looks could kill this is the full firing squad. The GTR is definitely my cup of tea. Just aggressive enough to make a statement but still stylish and luxury stacked. Love the colour, a low case unit like this should retail sub 80 grand. If you want to stand out while still sitting down, this is the man.